back with my new fat DIY video. So I hope you all are all right. I know you all are thinking why I am wearing this mask because for our today's DIY project, this is the main hero, guys. And I do a really interesting thing with this mask. So watch the video till the end. Without wasting any time, let's the power of art begins. First of all I took a surgical mask and as you can see it has four stitch sides. I don't want the all sides, I only want two sides of this mask and the middle portion of it. So I cut it off with the help of this scissors. Hey, where are you going? Okay, let's cut it off. Okay, here we go. I have the cutted parts of this mask. So I eliminate the rest of this mask and I want these parts and these parts and the middle portion only. At first I work on the stitch part then the middle portion. Ok now I cut this into small pieces to create our flower bud. If you look carefully I am not cutting it at the end. I will cut it into half. See I cut it at until the middle. So now I have to cut it at the end. So let's cut it. Okay, now it's ready and it's look uh, perfect. Now we work on the petals. We use the middle portion of this marks and as you can see it has three layers and we make their flower petals from this. As you can see it has some folds and we make our petals according to the folds. If you make parallelly then the petals are not look so good. I show you like that. The parallel lines makes the petals look so bad so I use the horizontal side. So at first we fold it into half just like that. Then now fold one time again tightly. Sometimes it's a little bit of uh, harder. Be careful and uh, hold it tightly. And using these scissors, I cut a simple petal shape. Be careful when using the, these sharp materials like scissor. If you don't use scissors, then you can get help from your parents and elder also. So be careful. So our petals are ready. Okay, let's open it. So as you can see, because of the fold, it joined together. We cut it off. Okay. The second one. So two pairs of petals are ready. And this is our bud. So let's assemble them. Now I take a flexible wire to assemble the flower and to do it I use hot glue. Apply little bit of hot glue on the flexible wire and now roll this around the wire entirely. Make sure you work under your parents supervision because it is very harmful if you touch the hot glue then it will be harmed your skin entirely. So be careful and you can get help from your elders also. Ok now we apply a little bit of hot glue and attached it very carefully just like that. And as you can see our flower bud or the middle portion of the flower is ready. And now we attach the petals around this bud and our flowers will be ready. Ok now we take the first flower petals and spread a little bit of so that the three layers are looks perfectly and then we attached it with the bud. So first we take the bud and apply a little bit of hot glue at the edge of the bud. Ok now I attach the first three petals of the flower around the bud and fix it tightly just like that. Ok, a little bit of hot glue. Ok, 
okay and, and the first three petals are attached there you go okay looks so nice now the rest of the three petals using the same method we attach the rest of the three petals just like the first one two petals are ready now the third one and go can see the first flower is ready and it looks so beautiful I make four flowers using the same method but you can make as much as you want according to your design the wire is not look so nice so I rolled it up with a green cello tape so that it can looks like a flower stick here we go I rolled it from top to bottom just like that It looks so nice so attach some leaves with it and make our flower bouquet for the leaves I use the green chart papers okay let's make some leaves so first I am using the deep green chart paper first I fold it into half just like that now another fold here you go draw a basic leaf shape just like that and because I am drawing a long leaf so I have another space beside it so I am drawing another leaf shape here you go and now cut it off with the help of these scissors Because of the fold as you can see I get many leaves in two cuts ok now for the second color I am using the light green the process is as same as the first one fold it two times and now draw the leaves just like that and then cut it off. Now our leaves are ready to be attached but at first we have one work to do take one leaf and make a fold at its middle just like that and give a little bit of bend on the upper part so that it looks like a real leaf here we go and do it the same with the all leaves Now the leaves are ready to be attached, so took a flower, and apply a little bit of hot glue, and now attach the first leaf, just like that and press it out, so that it would be fixed permanently, just like that. again and attach the second one the different color leaves just like that press it down and here we go I attached four leaves into a flower stick but you can uh, attach more than four five six according to your design
so as you can see our first flower is ready and it looks so beautiful so using the same method we make our another flowers just like that So at last the flowers are ready to be attached and uh, formed a bouquet. Let's select the final shape of the bouquet and then I will attach it with a cello tape. Hmm, it looks nice. Okay, let's tape it. So I am using the green cello tape to attach it together. Just like that, roll it down. Okay, the bouquet is almost done but I want some leaves there so I attach them and then the bouquet is ready to be revealed. So at last our surgical marks bouquet is ready to be revealed. give a thumbs up comment and share my artworks and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do follow on my facebook and instagram id so till then keep sketching keep smiling